No, you've been a good friend And that's in the thick and thin And I know it's never gonna end Cause you've been a good friend Hi, welcome back to my channel, According to Cat. If you're new here, please introduce yourself in the comments below. If you're returning, just say hi. I invite you to subscribe to my channel if you like decorating on a budget or crafting on a budget, DIYs with thrift store products, DIYs with Dollar Tree products, um, hauls from yard sales, things like that. Please hit subscribe and then if you hit that bell button, you will be notified every time I upload a new video. And it's free. And it's free. Please like this video if you like what you see or if you find it helpful. It helps my channel grow and also tells me what you want more of. So what are we going to be making today? Okay, so today we're going to be making these two fall five minute crafts. I love how they turned out. I think they're adorable and both of them are made using Dollar Tree products. If you want to learn how to make them, stay tuned. If you want to know what supplies I've used, please check out the description box below. Everything should be there for you. If you have any more questions, please ask in the comment section. And without further ado, let's get on with the video. Okay, so the first DIY we're going to work on is the thankful cutting board. I got one of the plastic cutting boards at Dollar Tree. I am taking my Waverly chalk paint in mineral, which is one of my favorite colors that they have. And I'm just brushing that on over the front and the back, just because I'm not sure if I'm gonna hang it on the wall or if I'm gonna like put it on a table. These are those thickers that I got from Walmart. And I think they're such a great idea because I can paint them and they look like wood if I put them on projects. And it's just a cheap way to, to embellish something. This is my Waverly Chalk Paint in Truffle. And I'm painting the word thankful in that color. Again, I'm taking the truffle and I am going to Pour a little out to distress the cutting board over that mineral color. I'm doing a little on the back too. I'm not paying much attention to the back, but these are the larger of the popsicle sticks from the Dollar Tree. I cut off the ends. And so now I have three slats of wood. Now I'm taking two regular Dollar Tree popsicle sticks and cutting off the ends of those. They're a little thicker, so they were harder to cut off. I'm wondering if I didn't get those at the Dollar Tree, but they do sell them there. Okay, so now I'm gonna lay it out like a little pallet board or not. Okay, they're just flying everywhere. Okay, so Actually, I think I paint them, yes. So I add a little bit of Waverly chalk paint in white to that truffle that is already on my little sheet there just to, you know, just mix them up a little bit so they're not stark white. See, I'm just mixing that. There's a tiny bit on that sheet, just a tiny bit. So it adds like some striation of color so they're not just flat white or flat truffle. Okay, so now I'm laying it out like a palette. I'm putting the three um, popsicle sticks down and I'm taking the smaller popsicle stick and putting it on the two sides, putting two on the two sides. All right, now I'm just cutting off whatever excess is hanging off the edge. And there we go. So I'm taking my Waverly chalk paint in white and I am going to backwards distress it. Yes, that is a word, ladies. <laughs> no, I don't think it is. <laughs> but I am adding white. And brushing it over. And I really like the way this looks. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do it. Oh. <laughs> I can't. 
Ay, ay, ay. Now I'm taking my thicker, my thicker sticker. And I am carefully pulling it off. And I'm adding a little hot glue because I know it's stickers, but you know, that's not going to stay. So I'm adding a little hot glue, like a couple dabs across. And now I'm carefully laying it out. Look how nice that looks. Kind of like positioning those letters a little bit. All right, so notice that some of it cracked as I was peeling it off. So I'm just going back over with my truffle Waverly chalk paint. I am taking my fix all glue. Again, I love this glue from the Dollar Tree. It holds kind of like an E6000 and I don't think the smell is that harsh. So I put that on the back for a permanent hold. I put the hot glue on for an immediate hold and I place that right in the middle of my cutting board. And you have about a second to play with it. So I'm pulling it down. Okay, and there we go. So it still needs a little something else. So I take my boxwoods from Hobby Lobby. I got a garland of it, and it's the never ending garland. And when that's good when that's done, I'll be buying more of it because it's just a, such a great buy. It's like $20. Um, if you get it on sale, it's like $10, and it's just so worth it. So I'm adding my fix all on two of the leaves towards the back and then the hot glue. Now, the reason I don't add it to all of it is because I want it to stick off from the cutting board a bit. So I do that to all four boxwood sprigs. I only add it to two leaves toward the back. The fix all and then I add my hot glue and then I place it down. Okay, and my last one, and I'll place that there, and there we go. I love the way that looks, very clean, fresh. Now I'm going to get the uh, nautical rope from the Dollar Tree. I put it through the top of the cutting board, I tie it tight. And, oh, oh, I'm tying it very tight. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm like really tying it tight. Oh, I add a little hot glue and I kind of pinch it together so it gets rid of that little hole that's there. I cut off the excess. And this is a finished product. Oh, wait. No, it's not finished yet. Girls, here it is my flames. I love it. Burning off the fuzz. I love when I get scared sometimes. <laughs> you can see when I put it out. I get nervous. I do love doing this. I can't. I can't help it. My husband's going to be so mad at me if I burn my house down. I swear. But I so mm, love. All right. Looks good, girls. All right. Just making sure everything's put down solid. DIY number two, the rock planter. That's what we'll call it. So this is a planter from the Dollar Tree. You can use this um, ribbon from the Dollar Tree, and it looks really good. I could have even used that. I really do like the way it looked. But I kind of liked this ribbon that I just got from Hobby Lobby. I think it was $3.99. I got it half off, so it was like $2. And you get a lot on the roll. But I just thought it looked really pretty with what else were what the other stuff we're making. Okay, so I put a little hot glue on the center, a little on the bottom, just to kind of hold my ribbon in place. It is a wired ribbon, and it's kind of like a mesh. It's really nice. I kind of went up in the back just so it laid flat on the front and there wasn't gap, gape, gapping, gapping, gaping, 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 right? That sounds right. There's no gap. Okay, so I am making my bow. I am folding it in thirds. Thirds? Fourths? One, two, three, fourths. Fourths. And I am cinching the center. And I'll take a piece of twine from the Dollar Tree and I will wrap it around the center 
and tie a couple of knots. And this will hold that center in place. I can still put, you know, a little piece on the middle to make it look nice, but this really holds it in place. Now, I'm cutting off the extra. At this point, I didn't think I was going to use, um, like, tails to the ribbon, to the bow. And that's when I would have put in my ribbon tails, and I would have just attached it to the back. But I thought I wasn't going to use them, and then I ended up using them. So I kind of had to tuck it underneath. So at this point, if you do want the tails of the ribbon, you put it in before you put that little middle around. So I take my three pieces of boxwood. I put it on the center of that bow. I'm just using a little stick to not burn my fingers. And I take my hot glue, put it on the center quite a bit to hold that bow. It's kind of a heavy bow. I mean, it's a heavy material. And this is when I realize I need the tails of the bow. So I just cut off a small piece. I am cutting the edges into, what are those called? What are those little things called when you cut the edges of a ribbon? Huh, I don't know. I'm sure you someone will tell me. All right, so I kind of tuck it up underneath, and I'm going to hot glue that. Is it called notching the edges? No, probably not. That doesn't sound right. Okay, and there we go. So cute. I love. All right, so those are the two together, and I think they make a really nice pairing I wanted something that looked really good together. I just took a blue Tupperware. I put it upside down so I didn't need that many rocks. I took the white rocks from the Dollar Tree, one of their candles, and this is what I always do wrong, people. I always pour the rocks in first, and I forget that I need to put the candle down first because it took me forever to like flatten that on there. I don't know why I do that. So I kind of took all the rocks out put the candle on. Now I'm dumping the rocks back in. I never learn. I really don't. Okay. And I take a little twine. You know how I like to decorate my candles. If I am going to burn this candle, I will not leave that twine on there. And that's the end of that. And here are both DIYs together. They were so fast, so easy. And here's the final reveal. I love. So that cutting board, you know, I know it's plastic, but unless you're on top of it, unless you're picking it up, it really does look super nice. And I, I mean, you can dress up anything from the Dollar Tree, just with a little, a little paint, a little hot glue, some items. I love the way it looked. If you know anyone that would want to make this, please share this video with them. If you liked what you saw, please hit the thumbs up button. It helps my channel grow as well as lets me know what you want more of. And if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Please subscribe to my channel. I upload at least two times a week and I love talking with you guys and learning more about you and sharing tips and ideas and all those good things. So if you want to be a part of my channel, please consider subscribing and I would love it. And I think that's the end of my video. And as always, thanks so much for watching. Bye.